host. Don't know if you can hear me. Um, if anybody's online, if you can maybe make a comment and just let me know whether you uh, whether you can hear me or not. That would be great. Um, this is my first live, so I'm a little bit nervous. And I'm not 100% sure I've got all the technological stuff going on, but we hope um, we hope that it all goes well. Mm. Okay, so... I am not sure... whether you can hear me or not so I think I'll just wait another minute or so to see if you go online or not and I'll just try and find it on my tablet um, and yeah Okay, so today I'm just going to start, I mean if you're not online you can catch it on the replay. So this is my, this is a little book I created earlier this week. So it's just a little mini box and I just decorated it, it's just for trinkets and things like that. So these little book boxes, I just got mine, they come like this and you can just get it from Spotlight. I got mine from Spotlight. So I'm sure they'd be available at like Kmart and you know the rest of them. So, um, so yeah. Then we can. Um, I'm going to start with this one. So the paper I'm going to use today is the Decoupage Queen Lavender Sisters. So this is what it looks like. It's one of my favourite papers. I just absolutely love it but then I love anything that's friendship or you know stuff like that and the other side of it is going to be the Versailles paper so I've actually used both of well this one I used on a um, on a table a study desk that I did a while back which you can either use a study desk or as a um, you know dressing table um, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful and it's on my website, so if you want to go have a look to see what it looks like. Um, these papers are absolutely amazing to work with. They are just really easy to work with. So what I'm going to do, i um, just going to take a book and just basically start. So I'm just going to measure where I want and what I want. I wonder if I do her, so she's in the middle. I might just actually um, just, just gonna wet my and a little bit of water, um, my little brush, and then I'm just gonna wet it where I want to tear it. The reason I'm tearing it instead of cutting it is it makes the blending so much easier. So then we're just gonna do it like that. So it goes real easy. And we put that one aside. And then I'm going to use this one. So I basically want this lady to be on the front. I'm just gonna drop this so you can easier see what I'm doing. I think that's better, isn't it? Yeah. You can see better what I'm doing. There we go. And then, <coughs> now you can use um, either top coat or Mod Podge, whichever you have at hand and whichever you want to use. So I'm just actually going to determine where least where I want. I want it there, so I'm just going to use my nail to that's got to be a little bit that way. We want it over on this side. So, we'll just go 
happy. just going to keep using my top coat as a glue to stick the paper to the top and, and that looks pretty good oh, I like a toothpick Otherwise, it will be all lump and get too wet. Okay. Just over it. I'm sorry if the fan in the background is um, like a little bit too loud because it is like 27 degrees here today. So that is like really, really hot. And, um, even though I'm originally from South Africa, I do not like a lot of heat. It's just not on for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a bit of sanding paper to um, grab scissors. These things are really handy, aren't they? They just like... And... Now I'm just going to sand... Sand it all down the bottom. it on there so that I can um, use the rest of the paper this goes so much easier when it's wet well, I'm just going to actually put the um, the back of the book or the um, which of the book and, and then we'll 
just go over it and we can just let it dry. Now I would like to use some um, molds. For some reason I can't see if there's any comments. I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like. So I'll just quickly carry on here. If you have any comments or questions afterwards, put it on. Um, I'll take it later and I'll respond to those. So for the back, I'm going to use this paper. Because I just think I want a little bit of a difference. And we'll just measure it there. Again, I'm just using my finger to score it, and um, I might just actually just cut these like that a little bit easier with the cutting thing. This is precise, and it might be a little bit shorter time period, seeing as we're doing the live. If there's any overlap, we'll just sand it off. Again, the so I'm very excited for this year because we are actually planning heaps of classes the first being obviously the Valentine's we'll be doing a video of it over the weekend to show you guys what it's going to look like and um See whether you like it or not, and then if you are in Christchurch area and you feel like joining us, please do so. So this is the back. Oh, that looks lovely. I like that. I'm just going to sand the edges off again. So obviously we'll be painting, but we'll also be using a couple of air dry clay molds. So I've got a few things that I've pre-made, but then I've also got, I was sort of thinking that I would like to put a frame around her. I'm not sure if this frame is actually going to work now or not. Unless, here's some of my pre-made ones. That's what I've maybe something like that. And something like that around the butterfly. Sometimes this is more. I think I'm just gonna put those two. What do you think? Yeah. I think those two looks good. Now where is my I usually use Kite Bond for um, my air dry clay. I find that they uh, work really well and they stick really, really well. So, 
but then again I used um, I'm doing a bookcase at the moment and I did the whole sides of the thing um, in molds so um, I actually used the PVA wood glue on that for the molds and um, they stuck really beautifully so I think I'll leave the um, frame for this time. Just a little bit longer. Just going to do, do the other one. Like I say, it's 27 degrees here today, and I do not like it. It's um, just a, bit, a little bit too hot for me, and it just makes me uncomfortable, really. So, I know it's supposed to be summer, and you know, it's gonna be great, but usually, in New Zealand, summer's about 20, 23. And now I think even, because I've got sheep and chickens and even they are like, it's too hot for them. They don't like it. Sheep are all sitting under the trees and chickens are hiding under the trees and yeah. There you go. Front one. So, let's see what we've got. So, we've got, got this one here. I wonder if that one's going to be too big. I quite like that one. So I think we'll make one of those. And so always keep your clay in, obviously, it's up a container and usually in a plastic bag as well. That's just to keep it from drying out because otherwise you end up with rock hard clay. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that one. But I sort of do like that one as well. Maybe we'll make one of each and see which one looks best. What do you think? Let's do that. Thanks, Jeanette. <laughs> Thank you for going on and having a wee look at the video. Jeanette is one of my friends. She also loves arts and crafts and um, is very supportive of my little business. So, okay. Cut this one, see how it goes. Yeah. Not like that. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks nice. I quite like that. Um, let's just do the other one as well, and then we can decide which one we like best. This one or this one and I'm leaning towards the first one myself just try and clean the more of it so it's not so messy later okay go to the side and put the clay away really pretty on it. So I'll just try bring it a little bit further down for you guys.
actually easier when the fire is still a little bit wet to um, get it to stick and draw it flat on the surface you want than the pre-made ones. So let that one there so it can dry out. But yeah, it is what it is really. So on the inside, I was thinking maybe we'll put a clock. It sort of looks like Frenchy style and a reminder that time is precious. What do you think? Uh, keep on your desk at work or something beside your bedside table. Just get little notes from your kids in or stuff like that. I know I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love writing my mom letters. And I used to always write a little notes. And she kept all of them. <laughs> I usually do a count of like 1 to 10 and then once we get to 10 it's like sort of like okay it should stick now. <laughs> Dixiel paints. So this colour is called Silk All in One and it's the morning sunrise. So it's a lovely soft lilac type colour and I'm going to be matching that off with the amethyst fluff. So we'll just oh no, it didn't stick at all. Okay. Might need a little bit more glue. doesn't stick now I'll just make a new mold it might just be that it's not entirely even and I'm going to dry that one a little bit with the dryer before we start painting so all that doesn't get wetter that's the thing with live videos is like usually I would just let this sit a little bit so that you know it can dry and to give that clay time to air dry but um, being a live video we'll try and rush it it's sticking more now so I'll just grab the dryer and I'll air dry this one a little bit That noise, guys, but this is unfortunately unnecessary. Oh, a necessary evil, really. There we go. Thanks, Laura. Now, Laura is um, a friend of mine, her daughter actually did OP work in France for a long time so she also likes all the Frenchy stuff like me so I'll have to get I think we can start painting so I'm not actually used to talking that much because um, 
It's just my husband and I, and, um, you know, we, um, don't have a lot of noise in our house, so usually, oh, great stuff, horse. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? I just need to get a week wipe, guys, sorry. Luckily, my mother always said I'm an accident waiting for a place to happen. She was not wrong, I tell you. She was not wrong. There we go. Crisis averted. This paper away. Move the paint over V. Clean my hands a bit. So anyway, that is one of the many reasons why we always have weak wipes very close by. Especially if you're like me, you um I'm definitely going to need it. Opportunity to clean the palette knife as well. A little later, there we go. Okay, now let's grab a brush. So I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, let's get to that one. Now I'm just going to start going, I might start on the inside, so that, that get to dry while we're working on the outside, no, or the outside first, inside can wait till very last. So I'm just going to go over the entire box with the um, Dixie Bell, is it Morning Sunrise? Yep, Morning Sunrise and the silk all-in-one paint. Now the silk all-in-one paint, why they're called all-in-one is because it's got a, your um, your primer, your top coat and your paint all-in-one. So this actually levels out very nicely. I mean if it's going to be like a high surface area I would still be doing a top coat. Um, especially if it's going to you know get lots of use then you might even do gator high just to make it water repellent but um yeah that is the handy thing about the silk all in one paint is they literally have got everything included in the paint so it's a very nice paint to use i find myself um i like painting furniture as well but it has to it's sort of I have to be in the mood for it I, I tend to like my crafty bits more so lately than the bigger pieces I mean I still have to start painting it's one of those things you sort of get addicted to buying the furniture and doing it up but <laughs> it all of course takes heaps and heaps and heaps of time um, which not necessarily you have every day you know so, and of course you have to be inspired to do the furniture piece that you are busy with, or well, I have to at least. Um, there we go. And just go there. Over the clock as well. The nice thing about this paint is you can be a little bit rough because it sort of evens out. So, and plus we're going to be using lots of waxes and things over it, so it doesn't really matter. We can just Carry on with this one. Seeing on the top there that I missed a spot there by the mold okay. I'm actually going to be 
down a bit. We'll just and that's it. Because it's only the outside is both deeper part, I'm not going to go over it now with this. And we'll paint the inside as well now, and then we might dry it and then um, see where we're at with time. Usually you would leave the um, the silver or fine point these two and with our waxes. Now we have a wide range of waxes with the Dixie Bell and honestly they just glide on and it's such great colours. I will show you what we're going to be using. We'll be using the gold, obviously, because Anything Frenchy has to have a bit of gold in, doesn't it? I, um, my husband and I once went to this place um, for a romantic weekend away and um, literally the entire place was, if it was all, it was painted gold. <laughs> it was actually quite a lovely place to stay. Um, uh, we stayed in the tree house, which uh, was a different experience. But um, yeah, lovely. Very, very nice. I might actually have to go back there someday. Okay, that's it. Let's close this one. And then I'll just grab a wet wipe and So it's like I always say, I'm quite a messy painter, I don't save either, you know, so. Okay, I'm just going to turn the dry on again and then we're just going to oh, we'll miss a bit there. Hmm. Now that I'm sitting, I can see where I've missed spots. So I'm just going to... Quickly do them. And we have to turn it all the way around so that I can see if I've missed anything. So usually I would do one bit, then let it dry, do another bit, let it dry. I think that's why most people that do crafts actually have like a few projects going at once. I'm just going to turn Oh, I'm sorry, I see the internet just went off again, so sorry about that. Um, part of the joys of living in the country, really, isn't it? Um, do you get spotty reception? <laughs> this is one of those things.
what I want to do next is I want to do the darker edges with the darker paint. Um, I just give it a good shake. I'm just using a small brush, a small detail brush, and I've got my little palette here, which I'm just gonna like dab off the majority of the paint so that I can just literally go over the edges. Just going to basically frame your box, give it a little bit of definition, and then you just dab it into the excess that you dabbed off in the first instance to carry on. Do you guys find that when you're out and about and you like, say you're doing a day trip somewhere, you will look at something and then the thought comes up to you, oh, how can I decoupage that or what can I do with that or I would have made it differently or you just always find inspiration everywhere you go, isn't it? And it's just, that's actually the really good part about it. So I'm just going to go over my clock, just lightly, I just want to get the details, I don't necessarily want to do the whole thing like super dark, I'm not going to put too much, there we go. The lock mold, just go over it ever so lightly. Oh, this one's actually still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna just work there. Off the book and the outside as well. And there we go, that looks like that look. Hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think. Thanks Olet. I like the colour too. No pink and purple wool myself. There we go. Just a little bit there on the 
top. Mm -hmm. My hands are a bit dirty now. I must say the sanding paper that I used today, probably not the right sanding paper. Should have probably used something a little bit thinner because it wasn't very really kind on the paper or on my hands. So, lesson learned to make sure you have the right sanding paper for your decoupage. Now I didn't paint these two, so I might just have to grab um, the other paint again and paint these in before I go over with a darker colour. Oh, okay. oh, I had a cup of tea which I made beforehand and never drank. But that seems to be a... Where did I go the paint? Um, that seems to be a regular occurrence for me. I always have like cold tea or cold coffee or because I just get so sidetracked with what I'm doing and I, I'm actually one of those people that I absolutely hate cold food and drink so I don't to get used to it now though just want to go around the edges Doesn't matter if I'm going onto the paper. Um, I'm gonna use wax and stuff over it anyway. Uh, make it look, look a little bit agey. It's in New Zealand, it's still, I don't know about the rest of the world, um, it's still school holidays. And I have to tell you, I love the traffic in school holidays. There's none. It's absolutely wonderful. But um, I think for the parents, it's starting to get a bit long now because I think they're only starting back beginning February. So I'm pretty sure there'll be a few moms and dads out there that's. I think the school holidays will be over soon. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to leave that dry and while that dries, I might have to dry it first a bit before we drop it. Grab the dry again. 
Yeah. I wonder if we should put something there. Yes or no? Or some stuff is outside so I'm just going to use this and I think we'll, we'll work to open the gilding wax so we've got um, the Dixie Belle gold gilding wax and then we also have the chameleon wax which is like uh, a perfect colour which we'll be, a little, we'll be using a little bit of both really okay your wax is your very last bit um, but because the silk mineral paint has a top coat built-in top coat we are I'm not going to use another top coat on it because it's not going to be something that's going to be used often um, it's just going to be a little trinket so I just see bits and bobs that um, I might actually still later on do a second coat of the um, on the inside at least of the morning sunrise. Um, I understand. I think I should put a little bit of flowers on the inside. I'm just looking here. So these are. Right. Oops. Long ass um, transfers from Mint on Michelle. I think this one is the one that's got the. Let me have a quick look. Let's see. So this one is called Fanciful Garden, and that's what the plant actually looks like. I've got lovely flowers, but I'm looking specifically for something on the inside of the... Oh, that one might work. Maybe the lavender. That's what looks so big. Out. I just want to see what else I've got. Oh, this is the one I thought of. It's too blue. Might be this one will work better. So sort of the blue purplish. This is a lovely plant, so anyways, um, this is what this plant looks like, and um, I'm actually going to be using it on the video we're doing later this week, this weekend. Okay, pretty sure I had. I'm just going to use 
this little bit. Anyways, um, so prawn swiss is a very nice and easy way to decorate anything, whether it's crafts or furniture. You literally just peel it off the bag, stick it where you want it to go. And then you use your tool that usually comes with your transfers and you just stick that transfer down on the surface you're working on. And then once you start lifting it up, you will see, you will be able to see whether the transfer is, you know, transferred or not. If it hasn't, just rub it a little bit harder. That was an awkward place, now how am I going to get that? Gosh, there we go. Just need to a little bit of leverage there. And so you can immediately see if it's not transferring. That one. There we go. Don't do what I just did and lift the whole thing up before you finished. That is not on. That look. That looks nice, doesn't it? It's a little bit something else. Okay, now I'm not going to be using those. Move them away. I'm just going to be using a small brush for the for the wax. So just a few brush in. And then just go over the edges that you want to. Now, myself personally, I love the gold building wax. Or well, I love building wax, but especially the gold. And I can never have enough of it. So, that is me. Look how pretty that looks. I don't know if you can quite see. See, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? And now we're going to do our I just like it. It just means I did a little bit something different and I actually forgot I wanted to paint the front bit here. So we just want to go over it again with the darker paint. So I'm just going to stipple it in. Doesn't have to cover the entire mold. Just okay, that's enough. And I can close this now actually. Just 
destroy this a little bit. to use a little building wax. Secure. Uh, what is this on there? So, let the building wax dry for four hours, um, and you can then buff it after twelve to make it even more shiny. But it's pretty shiny, so I don't feel I need to to buff. Um, yeah, so that's it, and I'll go clean that now. When I want to go, I might actually go over just a little bit with my finger, just over the um, the edges of the book. It just gives it a little pearlescent, purpley shine to it. I might do a little bit on the book itself, on the pages, or the front page. Because this actually just gives it, when you keep it to the light, it makes it nice and shiny. Um, I might just do the B. And that is our little book box. Hope you guys enjoyed um, watching with me. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them. Have a great afternoon.